with shows like that, it was kind of difficult for me doing sitcoms. I mean, it happened so fast. I mean, to, to do a story in 24 minutes it was hard to do it in, in 51 minutes. It was just hard. If you just wanted more time, you know, but you had to make everything count. Do you find yeah. in David in particular had some very good comedic timing? Yeah. Well, that was the other thing. Dave, David had fine timing. Danny was unbelievable. And, and that is a trick. I mean, you either have it or you don't. And boy, did he have it. And of course, if, if you look in When Mother Gets Married, which was done very early, it, it was written by Bertie Slade. And I don't know, it, it aired fifth, but because it was done earlier, I don't know whether it, it might have been done even earlier than in terms of the lineup of shooting. But if you'll notice, Danny doesn't have that much to do with that. He, he has some funny lines, but he's one of the mob. By the time I came back later for to play or not to play, because he became the, the negotiator. And then, of course, the wonderful one, uh, Partridge of a Pear Tree, where he takes, takes over as, as uh, David's business manager. There's another serious scene between them in Partridge of a Pear Tree, where he's where, where he just he just doesn't have no, enough money and it, it really I I prefer to them as my Joe Hardy scenes and Andy from the Hardy family yes. and then, and that was the thing that they they worked into those and that's Bernie Slade and whatever influence they had and somebody like somebody like Bernie and and Earl they can affect not only the scripts they actually write but everything about a show. The director is the storyteller. He's going to do it with, with visual and audio. And not unlike the conductor of an orchestra. He doesn't play all the instruments, but he's bringing them all together into a unified whole. And that's, that, that to me is what the director is. And you know ahead of time. I mean, I, I like to affect an audio. Twice in my life, I've done two, play, two plays where at the end of the play, I was standing, and they were both in small theaters, one in Santa Monica, one in Beverly Hills. I was standing at Death of a Salesman and Watch on the Rhine. The other thing is you want to hear, if you're doing a comedy, you want to hear people laugh. And I mean, they don't just laugh. They laugh when you want them to laugh. You tell them you, you tell them when they're going to laugh by about what's happening on the stage. That's comedy timing. Do you adopt the same principle when you direct a drama as you would a sitcom? I, absolutely. What you're doing, I mean, you, you make allowances for whether it's comedy or drama, but it has to be real. And unfortunately, too many sitcoms don't do what they should do.